good afternoon uh, good afternoon seniors and uh, colleagues uh, i present to you this case a 32 year old male rta uh, grade a injury what approach uh, will you take we can take uh, anterior approach it's like uh, uh, to tackle army of 10 to 15 people we use a sniper or we can send the infantry uh, in case we take posterior approach we will we will have to sacrifice few soldiers uh, like in this case uh, we will have to sacrifice adjacent uh, motion segments we have have to fix those uh, the easy facet reduction long segment fusion high chance of neurological deficit in, uh, when we are uh, redu reducing the reducing the facets or uh, during the uh, decompression it can happen and the chances of infections are more and uh, we can use the atomic bomb also to, uh, but it will cause collateral damage but it will do the job in case we do uh, both anterior and posterior surgery so so, uh, so uh, to study uh, whether the anterior approach will suffice a uh, study was conducted at km hospital under the senior authorship of uh, dr sk shrivastav is just another uh, anterior stabilization enough in three column injuries uh, of subaxial cervical spine uh, retrospectively 78 patients were analyzed over a period of two years uh, the aim of the objective uh, of the surgery was to retrospectively uh, evaluate long term outcome of only anterior stabilization in three column injury of the sub uh, axial cervical spine uh, the study design retrospective uh, study duration was 2 years and the sample size was 78 years data data ca uh, captured clinical data was demographic data age sex uh, gender uh, neurology uh, a asia scale uh, time to surgery and post op immobilization uh, mobilization and uh, the complications and uh, radiological data x-ray pre and post uh, at uh, one month uh, post operatively uh, three months six months one and two years ct scan mri at this uh, was done at the initial evaluation and later on uh, cobb's angle pre and post op uh, was evaluated uh, to measure the kyphosis correction uh, the alignment later on uh, the time to fuse and the maintenance of correction was evaluated also so this was the algorithm, uh, standard algorithm uh, for uh, uh, like uh, management of uh, subaxial cervical spine injuries. In case of uni or bifacetal dislocation, if it is grade A injury, straightway close reduction has to be attempted uh, before the MRI. But in case it is uh, other than A, then MRI has to be done because it is uh, uh, sometimes, uh, most of the times associated with the disc injury, which can worsen the neurological deficit. Uh, in case it, it shows traumatic disc injury, then open discectomy reduction and fixation was done from anterior approach. Uh, no disc, in case there was no disc injury, a close reduction was attempted. So this shows uh, this sequentially uh, how the close uh, reduction uh, achieves, uh, like how we achieve the uh, by, uh, reduction by close method. Demographic, uh, the mean age in our study was 36 years, so you can see that it was comparatively uh, younger people engaged in road traffic accident or fall from height. Uh, 60 were male and 18 were female. Uh, 61 were uh, unifacetal dislocation and 17 were bifacetal. Uh, reduction uh, was well, like 40 uh, of the patients of close reduction was attempted and in 38 uh, open reduction was done. Uh, the traumatic disc injury on MRI was found in 56%, so it is quite high. We could achieve from pre-op 4.4 uh, uh, degree of lordosis to 28.57, which is uh, significant. So neurological recovery uh, in 34% of the pa uh, patients, there was at least two, uh, grade, one grade uh, 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 recovery was there. Uh, mean time to surgery was four to four, uh, four, almost four days uh, because of the institution limitations. Mean time to fusion was approximately six, six months. Uh, fusion rate we could achieve in 100% of the patients and mean loss of correction at the end of the treatment at the end of the two years uh, observation was 2.59. Complication of wound complication in three uh, local and uh, five at uh, uh, graft uh, harvest site and dysphonia and dysphagia was uh, noted. So objective of the, uh, to conclude objective of the study was reduction and restoration of the alignment, uh, rigid stabilization and bony fusion uh, and that is the treatment objective, cord and root compression and rehabilitation. So I would uh, like, uh, and by saying that uh, only anterior stabilization would suffice in three column of injuries, in uh, three column injury of the subaxial cervical spine. Thank you.